What is going on people of YouTube? My name is Bikoyo and welcome back to a brand new video. Bit of a time off and we'd usually say, I'm sorry I didn't mean to do it. This is a national break and unfortunately I'm not going to poop out content when it's said elsewhere. I, 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 as you know I've fought a fight. Um, you know, I tried a takedown piece, and to be honest, the videos have changed. He's only stealing the Q and A's now, making the voice sound a little bit different. It's an improvement. It is a slow improvement. But we are back. It is break. just boring, and I just wanted to chill. So there, said it. It's out in the open now. But we're back with content. And guess who's else is back with content? The queen of FPL YouTube herself. Nymphria, so go check her videos out as she is back to posting. But for now, we have just a little bit of a review to do and a recap. It's been a long time since the game week. Let's see what happened. Starting as always with the goalkeepers Begovic, Gazaniga, Pope, Blossel. Those are the four. And it shows that money in the goalkeeping areas isn't always you know the right way to go. Because in between them, you know, they've got three 4.5s, one 4.6. So starting the game. Everyone was 4.5. Um, so, no one really. Oh, of course, you know, you got the fact that Pope would be replaced by Heaton if he was fit. Gaznig would have been replaced by Lloris if he was fit. But they've still, you know, got cheap goalkeepers. Admittedly, one, you know, point down, you've got T Bone Courtois. Um, but those four did really, really well. Um, in general, Pope for now until Heaton's back looks a good option. Burnley are a good team. Gaznig, I would stay well away from. Um, you know, because in the end, when Vorm or Lloris are fit enough to play, Gaznik is dropping down to the bench and again to the reserves. And even then, in the future, if he stays at the club, they've still got the young Spanish keeper, Paul Lopez, I think. I hope. Otherwise, I made myself look a bit stupid. Um, Lossel and Begovic are the ones I potentially target for the long term. Begovic, maybe, um, in my eyes, as Vorm have got better chances of, um, of keeping more clean sheets. And uh, Begovic is a good shot stopper in general. Moving on to the defenders, we've got Steve Cook, Aspilicueta, Baines, Malone, Matip and Vertonghen as the top six scorers for this game week. Now Steve Cook grabbed a huge 15 points for his game winning last minute goal against Newcastle, which also followed a minute after by the full time whistle which meant a clean sheet too. 15 points for him, 4.8, granted yes he's had a good performance, and I do think Bournemouth defenders could become a viable option in the future, but I'd look maybe if you're looking at that price towards Charlie Daniels, um, who is uh, another good defender and would have been up a clean sheet as well, um, playing 90 minutes. Um, and also maybe Simon Francis, who's going to be playing that defence no matter what, whether it's right back, centre back, or in three at the back, um, which he plays almost like an Aspen Quetta role. Um, he's 4.5 and a bit cheaper, or 4.6, 4.4, around that sort of price range. Um, so he's a good option. Aspen Quetta, if you haven't already jumped on a bandwagon, now I think is the time to stop. Um, many pointing out these chances created as there's only about eight chances created um five or six assists to his name on goal as well um, my only positive thing for him is that he's going into if chelsea are piling on teams and really starting to put the pressure on uh, like almost they did against manchester united and um, they'll go towards a two at the back and that's been quetta has got the potential to run forward and we've seen that uh, many times this season how many times he assisted Morata? um you know it's too many to count if you're can't count to like five because I can't remember the number, but it's, I know it's around there. So um, he's another good one. Baines, I'd pass on for now 5.8 for a struggling Everton defence, and all he is is a you know, penalty scorer, and he got an assist that game, but a bit iffy for me at the moment. Malone at 4.3, um, he's likely to be replaced by Schindler um, when he comes back, so I wouldn't really too search on him or Lerva, either one. Um, I can't remember what, can't remember what, <laughs> what one plays where. Um, Matip, again, Liverpool, I'd stay away from. Vertonghen, Tottenham defender, good, good choice as well at 6.0. And probably the safest of the options as the full-back rotation might have just kicked up a notch um, in the next few game weeks. Moving on to midfielders, we've got Salah, Shaqiri, Mane, De Bruyne, Son and Knockart. And Nick Knockart, that is, in case you got confused with the other one. There isn't one. Salah starts at 9.4 with 15 points. Um, someone that I wasn't sure on at the start because obviously he failed miserably, I'd say, in terms of what, what he's compared to now in his first Chelsea, um, you know, his first appearance in the Premier League of Chelsea. 
Um, so I think you know he's done a lot better. I transferred to my team. He's done really, really well. Um, so he's definitely one I, I think everyone should be considering. Um, along with Mane, who's just two down the list on 13 points. Uh, really, really good performance again from him and those two of their pace and the cows attacking way they play. Uh, dominating defences and they are really really hard to get a hold of Shakiri, uh, 5.9, 13 points, would I go with him? Probably not because he's Mr. Inconsistent and um, I think his history shows he can score a goal, or have a good game week and he'll miss a few in terms of attacking returns so I'll be wary of that uh, De Bruyne comes in 10.1, playing a bit deeper as I, uh, you know for, what, for 10 million you don't want a deep line playmaker so He's out of my selection. Son, is he going to get first tie, uh, you know, first team constantly? I don't think so. Anthony Knockhart, 5.7, um, scoring 9. He could be one to watch. Uh, Bryson, I feel I've got okay fixtures. The fixtures in which Knockhart can do well in, but it's about whether he can get his you know, form up there uh, is the worrying thing for FBL managers. But I would say 5.7 is not a bad price. Lastly, you've got the attackers. Niassi, Murray, Vokes, Morata and Aguero cheapest at the top and the further we go down the list the more expensive it gets Niasi at 4.9 scoring a goal on Everton's dramatic comeback uh, against Watford so I didn't really see I thought Everton could nick a win um, but I didn't see it happening and I got 3-2 from 2-0 down as well quite impressive have to admit it is quite impressive uh, but Niasi 4.9 potential to play more often but a new manager could be coming in uh, I don't think Unsworth has done enough for the job um, so I'd say Wait until the new manager comes in if Niassi is a favourite of the new manager. 4.9 is an absolute steal. Murray and Vokes are on 5.8, both scoring 8 points. Both playing for a team, starting with B, or B, as some adults might say. Murray, though, I feel like is uh, one that's really starting to perform now. And if consistency is something that he's found, he could be a real, real dynamite player for cheap as well in terms of FPL selection crisis. And as well as that, you've got Vokes, who's done an all right you know, season so far. Decent start, uh, but he's also probably going to be playing a one-strike formation. Sean Dyche for a long time. You know, he's played that for quite a lot. And also, you've got Chris Wood up there to rival things. So if he doesn't have a couple of good games, he could be out for Woods, and he could be out for a long time. Then if Woods gets his form on, so... It's an interesting to see, but for me, Murray's the better option. You also got Morata and Aguero, both scoring goals, both high priced, both worth it if you've got the money. But that happens to be that for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know in the comments down below, out of you know the best players from last game week, which is quite a way away now, uh, what was like 10 days, um, who played the best? Who, which ones are you looking at to bring into your team? Have you already brought them into your team? And in this international break, when is it best to play your transfer? It's going to be a few injuries. Mane might be out. It's a big one, so who knows. But thank you for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.